Okay, the following is a video on 12.4 notes, volumes of prisms and cylinders. Uh, before we start, uh, I want to talk about the word volume and what that means. And no, that is not how loud a uh, music can be. Uh, it is a measure of three-dimensional space, okay? Um, and I like to think of it as, I ask the question, how much space does an object take up? Does an object take up? Okay. Um, and so what I want to talk to you guys about is a, um, you know, how we would actually calculate the volume of this. Okay. And it's a 3D space. Okay. So our volume, if you have just a generic prism, Okay, um, in a prism, this is a rectangular prism, you can have a triangular prism, a pentagonal prism, whatever. Um, you can calculate the volume. Now, all, for, all cylinder, for all prisms, the volume formula is the same. Its volume is the base, uh, the area of the base, times the height. Okay, so I'm going to say that, that B is equal to the area of the base. Okay. Um, so in this case, if you have a rectangular prism, uh, then you typically would see something, like if you had something like this, you would take the length of the base times the width of the base times the height. Okay, and here's your height. It's the measure from the top to the bottom. But this would be your length for this measure here, and then this measure here would be your width. Okay, so we would use this formula. Uh, I feel like this is something that you guys have probably seen before. But uh, we're going to start using it uh, here. Okay, for a cylinder, we have the same thing. Okay, uh, you're going to take the area of the base and then multiply it by the height of that figure. So my volume would be the area of the base B times the height. Now, the area of the base here, okay, um, and I'm going to write over here that the base was equal to the length times width. Okay, that's a rectangle. Here, the area of the base is pi times radius squared. It's a circle. Okay, so we can write our volume and make a specific formula for a cylinder and say it's just pi times your radius squared times your height. Okay, and that would be the formula that we're going to use here. Okay, and our radius is denoted here. Okay, now there's something uh, that we, I do need to talk about, and it's something called an oblique prism. And that's a prism whose um, height is not determined by this length here. Um, but it's more determined by the actual just vertical height. Um, this is something that um, can usually stump a lot of kids. Um, but this follows, if you have an oblique prism, it follows, the volume is the same as any other prism, except for the measurement of the height is the vertical distance from the very, very top down to the bottom that creates a right angle. Okay, so that's something to consider here. But it's still just the area of the base times the height. Okay, as long as your bases are the same all the way through, um, it could kind of lean towards the other direction, but it's still going to have the same volume as the other figures. Okay, so let's take a look at a couple of examples. Um, let's take a look at number one. Now, this is a, well, I'm going to denote my, my base here um, as my rectangle down here. Um, and so this is a rectangular prism, rectangular prism, all right, and I'm calling it a rectangular prism because my base is a rectangle, okay? And so we know that the volume is equal to the area of the base times the height, okay? So, but I know that my base is a rectangle, so this is my length and this is my width. So my volume is equal to length times the width times the height. Okay, my length is equal to 18 centimeters. My width is equal to 16 centimeters. And then I know that my height is equal to 8 centimeters. Okay, so I usually like to write all those out, all my components, and kind of identify what those are on here. And then I plug them in and I say, all right, well, so then my volume is going to be 18 centimeters times 16 centimeters times the uh, 8 centimeters, okay? Now, if I multiply all those numbers together and put them in my calculator, I'm going to get 2,304. Now, my measure is centimeters cubed. 
Now the reason why I have a three here is because I'm doing this in three dimensions. This is a three dimensional, uh, three dimensions. This is a three dimensional figure. It's a three dimensional measure, okay? I'm taking centimeters times centimeters times centimeters that centimeters cubed, okay? That's the measure that we use to show volume, okay? An area, uh, we had centimeters squared. Okay, that's because we were dealing with a two-dimensional measurement. Okay, this is a three-dimensional measurement. All right. All right, let's take a look at number two. Now, two is a little bit different. Okay, now this is a triangular prism. Triangular prism. Okay, because my base is a triangle. Okay, and I'm going to make the outline of my base here. All right. Now, the problem is with this is that I need to find the area of the base. So my area of the base, let me use B, area of the base is equal to one half times the base length times its height, okay? Now, I'm not, I don't want to confuse you guys with the height over here. I'm just talking about the area of my triangle. Now, because this is a triangular prism uh, and this is 13 meters here, Okay, I have another triangle over here. This hypotenuse is 13 centimeters. Okay, now wait a minute. This looks kind of familiar uh, to a, uh, a Pythagorean triple that we or may, may or may not know. Now, I'm going to call this length here x. Now, I kind of already know that the length of that is 12 uh, because this is a 5, 12, 13 right triangle. It's a perfect right triangle. Uh, so one way you can figure that out is you could say x squared plus 5 squared is equal to 13 squared and you end up getting that x is equal to the square root of 13 squared minus 5 squared. So x is going to end up giving you the square root of 144. So x is equal to 12. So if you don't know, um, this is meters, I don't know why I'm using centimeters. Uh, if you don't know what the... Um, uh, what that measurement is, you can always use Pythagorean theorem. If you don't notice that it's a Pythagorean triple, those things pop up quite often. Okay, so now if I'm trying to find the volume of my figure, I need the area of my base. So that's uh, going to be one half times uh, my base length, which is 12. So I'm going to multiply that by 12 times five, which is the height of that triangle. But then I need to multiply by the height of my um, by the height of my uh, of my prism, which is three. Okay, so multiply that by three. So guys, this follows my formula: volume is equal to the area of the base times the height. Okay, this is the area of my base here. This is the height of my prism. So if I evaluate that, we end up getting. Uh, if you put that in the calculator, you get ninety, and this is meters cubed. Okay, cubic meters that we're looking for. All right. So just be that we just got to be conscious of what we're labeling as our base. Okay. All right. Let's take a look at number three. Okay. Now this is the volume of a cylinder. Now uh, the volume of the cylinder is still follows the area of the base times the height. Well, remember uh, our cylinder base is a circle, so the area of the base is going to be pi r squared times the height. So radius is equal to 5 millimeters. My height of my cylinder is 23 millimeters. So our volume is just going to be pi times 5 squared. Oh, I'm sorry, that's 15. 15 squared uh, times 23. Now, if I plug all this in, I'm going to get a pretty big number here, and that's okay. But it's going to end up being 16,257.7. Seven, and this is millimeters cubed. All right, so we want to make sure we label that and put that in there. Okay, so th these are all just if you can identify what the measurements are, go ahead and plug it into your calculator, and we're good. All right, so on number four, this is an oblique prism. Okay, and my base is a rectangle. Okay, now I'm going to follow the exact same formula that I had for the volume, if, it, if this was not an oblique rectangular prism, okay, if it was just a regular rectangular prism, I know my height is four. So my width is 17, my length is 18, and my height is equal to four. So I'm just gonna put 17 times 18 times four. 
If I plug that into the calculator, I'm going to get 1,224 centimeters cubed, and that's my volume. Okay, so as long as you can identify the height, that's all you need to know. Okay, and the height is always the, the, the vertical distance from the very, very top to the bottom. Okay, now let's do the last one. Um, I know my radius is equal to 3. I know the height of my oblique cylinder is equal to 5. Okay, so volume is equal to pi times radius squared times the height. So volume is equal to pi times 3 squared times 5. So my volume is going to end up being, if I put that in the calculator, that's 141.4 inches cubed. Okay, so guys, a lot of this is just plug and chug, just trying to figure out what those measurements are. If you know the formulas, it's pretty easy. So uh, please get started on your homework, and we'll see you in a bit. Thanks.